In today's calming watercolor tutorial, we'll be painting a simple leaf and berry pattern. You'll learn how to create watercolor leaves and berries while applying different painting techniques. This tutorial is all about paint control, wet on wet technique and a wet on dry technique. It's time to sit down and enjoy the painting process. To paint this leaf and berry pattern, you'll need two different brushes a size 8 and a size 0. Anything similar is perfectly fine too. You can either use a rectangle or a square shaped piece of paper. It's totally up to you. In this tutorial I'm using only four colors. Indigo blue, cobalt blue, olive green and deep set green. I use a white gel pen too. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can use a size 0 round brush and white gouache to add the white detail. Before we start painting, we have to apply masking tape to the edges of our watercolor paper. Decide how much white space you like to have on the outsides and apply the tape. And make sure it sticks well to the paper to prevent the paint from bleeding under the masking tape. Alright, it is time to get started! Get your bigger round brush and mix some of your deep set green with a drop of olive green paint. Pick up a light mix of your green shade and start painting big diamond shaped leaves with wobbly edges by drawing the outline of the leaf with the tip of your brush. Fill in the leaves with a light paint mix and drop extra paint close to the edges to create depth. Now make sure you equally divide the leaves over the paper and leave some white space for the berries and other leaves we're about to paint. I painted about 10 leaves. Some of them touch the masking tape to let the white border of the painting stand out even more. It is time to move on to the second layer of leaves. Since we'll be applying the wet on dry technique, it is important for the first layer to be dry before you move on. Now repeat the previous step, but this time use a darker shade of your deep set green paint. Paint one to two leaves on top of the lighter big leaves. Let the leaves point in the same direction as the first layer of leaves. And remember, leaves come in all sizes and shapes, so don't worry if your leaves look odd. Trust the process, you will end up with a beautiful piece of art. Fantastic! You created your own leaf and berry pattern! This painting session got me very relaxed and I hope you feel that way too. Thank you very much for taking the time to paint with me today. 